Hi, I'm Murphy, the producer of Payment Milk Sample. Come with me and I'll show you how I get to the Dairy One Milk Lab. Milk transportation starts with the milk truck driver. The milk truck stops at each farm on a regular basis, pumping out all of the milk from the bulk tank. During this process, the driver also takes a bulk tank milk sample. Samples are tested for antibiotics and bacteria, somatic cell count, fat, and protein. The results of these samples determine how much the farm is paid for their milk, so transporting them safely to the lab is critical. The bulk take sample is stored in the back of the milk truck on ice as the milk truck driver makes their way around to all the farms on their route. Many large farms have direct loads, which means entire milk trucks are filled from one farm and go direct to the milk plant. At the time of pickup, the clock starts ticking. These samples have only 60 hours in which to make it to the lab for analysis. The milk truck's destination is usually the hauler garage or a milk or cheese processing plant. Once at the hauler garage or a milk or cheese plant, the driver completes his chain of custody paperwork, checks the temperature of the samples, and puts them in the refrigerator. When the load gets to the processing plant, the plant also takes a sample from the milk truck to test for antibiotics and bacteria. If the test comes up positive for either, then the entire load is rejected and the lab must test all the samples from that load to determine the source of contamination. While in the refrigerator at the hauler garages and plants, the bulk tank samples wait patiently for the Dairy One courier to come and pick them up for the next leg of their journey. Most of the stops are quite comfortable with nice shelves, cool refrigerators, and friendly staff who treat them with care and respect. All sites must meet the minimum temperature standards for both the refrigerators and samples. Refrigerators are routinely checked and if it is found that they do not meet regulatory standards, the samples are deemed unusable. Couriers usually arrive in white vans and are equipped with coolers, ice, and thermometers. Once these couriers arrive at the pickup point, they must check the refrigerator temperature, log it, and then check the temperature of the temperature control or TC sample and log that on their sheet as well as some other information. They separate the unusable samples from the good samples, pack them all in ice, and very soon after arrival they are on their way to the next stop or to their final destination, the Dairy One Milk Lab in Ithaca, New York. Samples enjoy a nice, smooth, safe ride into Ithaca, usually arriving at the lab in the very early morning hours. This is intentionally scheduled so that the lab staff can get an early start on the day's work of analyzing the samples and then sending the results back to the dairy co-op field personnel and farms within 24 hours. While it is assumed that all of the laboratory staff have appropriate credentials and are licensed, we may not think about it for couriers. However, all milk truck drivers and all Dairy One couriers are required to take and pass the Federal Milk Receivers Exam to handle and transport samples and to renew this license every five years. The successful journey of a bulk tank sample from farm to laboratory is made possible through the coordinated efforts of many people. Couriers play a critical role in this process and in doing so are providing an important link between farmers and consumers.